The Canadian federal government announced its goal to strengthen the Canada Pension Plan for all employees across the country back in its 2016 budget. In the following year, it introduced an act to amend the CPP. But on January 1, 2019, these amendments become a reality and payroll departments and employers need to be prepared once the changes are effective and the CPP contribution rate increases. We spoke with Rachel DeGrasse, Director of Advocacy and Legislative Content at the Canadian Payroll Association, and Kim Azupko, partner at Miller Thompson in Toronto, to learn more about the impending CPP changes. From 2019 to 2023, Basically, the CPP contribution rate will be gradually increasing over this five-year period until 2023, when it will achieve the full rate of 5.95%. Starting in 2024, there will actually be a, an additional contribution rate of 4%, and this is going to be on income that is between the yearly maximum pensionable earnings and a new upper earnings limit. So in other words, once employees have reached the YNPE, uh, the 5.95% will stop, but they'll contribute 4% on the part of their income that goes between the YNPE and this upper earnings limit. One of the other changes uh, under CPP, and it's intended to offset uh, perhaps the tax burden that an employee will feel as a result of contributing more to CPP, that will result in a change of treatment from a tax perspective of the enhanced contribution. So an employee with respect to those additional contributions, so the 1% uh, of the contributions below the YMPE or the 4% of the contributions above the YMPE will now be subject to a tax deduction on an employee's tax return instead of a tax credit. The tax credit will still apply to the base contributions, to the contributions we're paying now, and employers will still be entitled to a tax deduction for all of their contributions to CPP. Changes to CPP uh, take a lot of time and effort. Uh, the governments in Canada, the provincial and federal governments have been talking about enhancing CPP for quite some time now. There is a great concern that the average Canadian is not saving enough for retirement. So that was the push to increase CPP contributions. At the same time, even though there was a recognition that CPP should be increased, there was also recognition that it could increase the burden on individual employees, reduce their take home pay, and as well to increase the costs for employers, particularly small and, and mid-sized businesses who may feel that hit a little bit more. So that's the primary reason it's taken a couple of years to come into, into force and why there's such a gradual implementation. One of the things that employers should really do is create a spreadsheet with all of the projected increases of the CPP contributions. What we recommend is taking employee salary bands uh, to create a detailed spreadsheet that will show what the, the current contributions are versus what the projected contributions will be. And we recommend that employers do this right up until the 2025 year mark, which is when the full enhancement of the CPP will be achieved. For Canadian HR Reporter, I'm Alexia Kapralos.